because we are starting off with a really cool and free exhibit going on right now that features all local art. So for art lovers, those of you who want to get into art, this is perfect. And artist Lee Cabell, along with cultural arts manager Chris Stevens, are on the Coco Couch now to tell us all about it. Good morning. It's good to have you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, I love the arts in Colorado. It's so big, a lot of local talent, and it's because of, of events like this. Chris, what is the All Colorado Art Show? Well, this is the 40th year that the Curtis Center has right. hosted this exhibit, and it's just a great way to show off all the great art and all the great artists that Colorado has to offer. Absolutely. When you talk about local artists, how do these artists get their work featured in the show? Uh, we do a call for art, and mm -hmm. any, any artist is eligible. All they have to do is live in Colorado. It doesn't matter their experience, their medium. We, we take it all, and then we bring in a juror from outside that goes through and actually picks the pieces that are in the show. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, and then Lee, you're one of the artists that's featured. Tell me how you got involved and what was your process like? I, I applied to the show at the, mm -hmm. and then like you said, it's a juried show, so I was selected. It's just a matter of selection once you've applied. Yeah, tell us about your art. My art, I'm a recycled artist, so mm -hmm. I, I pick up chip bags and coffee bags, they're mailed to me, and then I cut them out and I sew them back together to make landscapes. That is incredible. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that about five years. That's awesome. Now, what does it mean to you to have your art featured in shows like the All Colorado Art Show? How does that help? Um, it's lovely to meet other Colorado artists, but this is such an intimate, lovely venue, and Chris is fabulous to work with, so mm -hmm. I really enjoy being at the Curtis Center. And I like meeting different Colorado artists because they're different ones are juried in every year. I bet it's a, it's a neat collaboration when you get to meet other artists you are all showing at this event. That must be a good feeling. Now, a lot of artists did apply this year. How many end up in the exhibit and how do you come to that decision? Uh, it is tough and luckily I didn't have to do the hard work. We did <laughs> yeah. bring in an outside juror for that. Her name was Daria Bryant from uh, David B. Smith Gallery. Uh -huh. And we had 800 entries this Whoa, year. Wow, that's so a And so Lee lot. was very fortunate to get in. We only have 72 pieces in the show, so wow. less than 10% get in. Okay, so from 800, you went down to 72. That is quite a process, yeah, and Lee, was, congratulations. That was Daria's job and a very hard job, that's for sure. I'm sure. Now, how can people see this exhibit, and what can they expect? Well, come to the Curtis Center for the Arts. We're located at the corner of Orchard and University down in Greenwood Village. Okay. Uh, we are free and open to the public. We're open Monday through Saturday, so there's lots of opportunities for you to come in and see it. And it is a diverse offering of art. I mean, we've got all kinds of mediums from ceramic to painting to, to things like what Lee does. And that's one of the things we're big fans of Lee's work and yes. we really like her process and, and what she does. It's really neat. Now, are the artists there as well during the art show or just on uh, the exhibit or just on particular times? Yeah, we, we had a big reception. We always kick okay. off our exhibits with a big reception. We had about 300 people this year for that one. Nice. It was a little hot, a little packed, but it was great to have all the <laughs> artists together in one place. Hasn't the weather been crazy? It has been crazy. <laughs> it has been so crazy. <laughs> now, Lee, what is your advice for aspiring artists out there that are that may just be discovering a talent that they have? Keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Try new stuff and be true to yourself. Don't if you like small, do small. Don't don't get talked into big. Exactly. Just go with your gut and what mm -hmm. you know, right? Yes. Okay, one more time. Give us where people can go to this exhibit and how long does it go for? Uh, we're, it's open till the end of August. August 26th okay. is the last day. Uh, we are ending with a little talk from the juror. So she'll talk about how she got to her process to pick the 72 out of the 800 that were in the show. Again, we're at the corner of Orchard and University in Greenwood okay. Village. Open Monday through Saturday. We love to have visitors. So please come down. It's, it's always free and open to the public. That's going to be an interesting discussion for the juror. I would love to know how she came down to just 72 pieces. Well, what a great opportunity. The All Colorado Art Show is free. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having Thanks. us. Congrats yeah. to you, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. The All Colorado Art Show is free and open to the public. It's on display now at the Curtis Center in Greenwood Village. Also, mark your calendars because they are having an art fair the weekend of September the 16th. It's going to feature over 90 Colorado artists. You can learn more at greenwoodvillage.com slash Curtis.